What is going on guys? Today we have got more upgrade packs. So we have finally got a little bit more to get this 75 times 5 done. We do have, as we can see here, um, the 86 plus again. We also then have the beautiful 85 times 10 that is repeatable once. This is now going to, I believe, two days, I want to say. Hopefully, they do make that repeatable sooner rather than later. But we also now have a 60 to 64 times 5 upgrade and a 71 to 74 triple upgrade. I don't see anything else at the moment. Um, I think... I just heard that we meant to have Hullet, but I haven't actually seen him yet. Um, let's just have a little double check to make sure that we haven't got it. Oh, no, we do. Oh, my God. 90, uh, 15 ratings. So, this is definitely the card to be grinding. 90, 89, 88. Oh, okay, that's a standard. We'll be getting a review on him soon, so stay tuned for all of that. That's going to be an absolute nuts card. But what I want to focus today on is how can you get the most out of these upgrades. We'll also finish the 85 times 10. I don't know if the requirements have changed or anything like that yet. We've got 87, so it's exactly the same. I don't know if this was a refresh, but I swear we had one of these yesterday. So first off is the 60 to 64 times 5. That is bronzes. Okay, so I'm interested. I would assume this requires bronze rares then, but I cannot remember what it had. Oh, there we go. Okay, yeah. So you do need free rare, minimum bronze. Okay, so that, that's not bad. So basically, because what you need, you need, is it two gold rares for the 75 times 5? I want to say it was two rares. Yeah, so two gold rares, and then you need, what, nine, nine silver. And if you get a triple, so you basically need to finish off three of these triples to get it done. Okay, that's going to be a quite interesting one. So let's just have a quick look at how easy this is in terms of what we've got in the club already. Because I want to say we've used quite a lot of bronzes. How far back do I go? We've got 57s. I think, yeah, I think we managed to get to the 62s and 63s. And then we have a few 64s by the looks of it. So that's not too bad. Again, bronzes will go up. So BPM, which I'll show you in a second, is going to be more than possible again. Um, let's just go Sweden. Perfect. So we get him in. We don't want to use too many because what we want to do first before starting this grind, and I'll show you in one moment. Let's just get them all in. Oh, and we need one more player. So that should be everything. Yeah, 20 chem should be absolutely easy. You do need maybe one or two on chem. But other than that, literally just go from league to league. Absolutely easy enough. So that should be that. And then the bronzes was, if I can find, oh, we've got it in favorites, haven't we? So, uh, we can get rid of that now. Um, the A2 pick, I honestly, I still think that's, that's worth it. But again, if you're on about the recycling side of this, the 75 times 5 will be the better route to go for more consistency. The, the 82 plus will take longer to grind out, even if I do think that is more worth it per pick, basically. So, we are on the we're on the 75. No, we want to go in for the, the bronze. I just want to have a little test. I'm pretty sure it is, yeah, 60 to 64 rare player. So with this, you get five obvious bronze players. I'm surprised they didn't give us no bronze requirements or anything with this. But again, not really too fussed because we do have quite a few objectives to keep doing. So that should not be it. So we move him across, move there. Oh, damn it. I thought we might have been able to get this done, to be honest. Uh, we'll move him there. There we go. So, again, a couple of links. Probably better to have the right position, if you can, at least one of them. And then you get these packs back. And, again, you can do bronze packs. So, again, what, what you'd be wanting to do with this, really, is you'd go over to bronze packs. I don't think... Oh, Brazil start pack. Brazil foundations. Very nice. So, if we go into the packs, then let's have a quick look. So, the 60 to 64 times 5, again, should be a standard. And the main thing with this sort of grind, especially is not necessarily how quick you can get it done. It is more about that consistency and not necessarily having to spend many coins. That is going to be the big thing with it. 60 to 64, so you are going to get some duplicates. Whack them into the 371 to 74s. Again, you can do League SBCs with them if you are still grinding this out, or you can obviously just go straight back into that 75 times 5. So the way to do the bronze packs just before we go full circle with this is, oh, we'll get you a cheek preview as well, as well as doing that 85 times 10 in a second. As we get aboard, Portuguese, who are we going to say? Pepe? Oh, Guerrero. How much is he worth nowadays? Oh, you know, you know what? I might actually look at that one in a minute. So in terms of this then, so basically with the bronze packs, the way I would personally do it 
It's going in 750. This is if you've got absolutely zero bronzes in your club. You are absolutely on zero or you can't actually get any sort of upgrades done with what you've got in the club. I would open bronze packs. You've got minimal coins. I'd look at League SBC cards. For instance, plus a lot of cards are going to go up now because people will still try and buy cards just to finish off. So what you want to be doing is looking at any sort of league that has got cards in there. Goalkeepers, maybe not as much. Um, again, on, on leagues, you might be able to. Let's just give him a go at 200. You might be able to get something there. But in terms of what you really want to sell is League SBC main focus. If they're 200 coins, take the bump. Just get it Just get it done. Don't, don't bother with them. I would potentially sell the rares, even though you are going to be upgrading with them. You will get more money from your rares to go do these bronzes. So, for instance, we've got all duplicates here. With the rare, you're going to get a couple of hundred. With, obviously, Hullet as well, that requires rares in the two SBCs. Again, you might even get this guy gone for 550. We'll just do a couple because it gives us a good spread on what actually sells once we get to the end of the video. It gives it a solid 10 minutes to see does it actually work. So, we'll do two more and then we'll move on to the upgrade side of it and just the cycle of what you want to be doing. This is just literally if you are completely ran out and this is going to be the perfect set so we will sell him obviously we'll keep you could probably sell the english guy as well and go for literally off leagues as much as possible but we will sell any league sbc prem is a definite sell they won't they probably won't go for as much as what they have done in previous but you will get pretty much the pack back from them so obviously the prem is always going to be the, the most lucrative as well as any major league and i suppose at the same time you could just sell all major leagues and all rares. And that would still give you enough coins to consistently keep doing these packs. Um, there is a lot of people going around and, and asking to do the libs. I personally think the libs take too long unless you've got a team set up in it. I personally wouldn't bother with it. Um, and again, we've got a, a little bit of a price there. So we'll leave it there and see if any of them actually sell. We, As you can tell, we haven't lost any coins if they do sell or what they actually do sell for. So that should be absolutely golden. So that is if you are absolutely tapped out of all bronzes, there is literally zero in your club. With, obviously, my club, we've got a lot of bronzes still. Still, there is still a, a lot of room to, to kind of uh, improve on there. But if we then go now to, we'll go by league. So we'll go for German free. We'll have a look at what rares we've got. Uh, we need free, and then we'll just go to the commons. And I would just literally go league by league. If I then get any commons left over, I'd then just keep the commons going and just keep grinding it like that. That's going to be your best way. Keep all of the commons in there. Don't sell them off or do silver upgrades or anything like that. Keep them in there, and then once you get more rares, more than likely you'll find that they will link together. If we do one more, that should give us all enough for the silver upgrade to the 75 times 5. Um, so again, we will just go in alphabetical because that gives us the most uh, rares that we could possibly go for there. We'll, uh, we'll also do Belgium League as well, just because why am I holding League SBC cards? We may as well. And then if we just go back to that German, and we'll go CDM. We get a little uh, Belgium guy in there, and that's it. Beautiful. So that is as easy as you like. There are probably easier ways in terms of doing the squad builder challenge, but again, um, I don't know if the squad builder on the mobile app or obviously online on the web app is actually quicker because you need them rares. I suppose if you did bronze only, if you've not necessarily got a load of bronzes, it may work. We actually get a prem as well. I hate putting prems in, but at this point of the year, who matters? Silver prems are not worth anything anymore. So next one up. Again, you can get specials in this as well, I believe. Anybody that has a silver card with a special. We had another prem, honestly. It's just waiting to, to, to kill me over here. So there we go. We've got enough silver rares. I would suggest as well, before starting all of this, get Hullet's first two done because you do not want to be spending any extra coins getting that now. Obviously, you can get the rares just from doing the upgrades as well, but get it done. Um, I'm trying to give you the example without finding Hullet here. Uh, Hullet's on the next page for some reason. So definitely get these two done as quick as possible because they require, obviously, all 11 of both types so from there we've got our silvers we've got our bronzes so now we want to do a 75 times five so straight away we've already got a couple of gold rares if you haven't got any gold rares go buy two because as soon as you buy two as you can see we haven't actually got any as soon as you buy two you then always have a stash back there is no other stash gone and that they are gone um, because obviously you get five back and I guarantee you are not getting five cards that are all not worth putting back into the SBC. If you do, 
absolutely fantastic tier. But the likely chance of that happening is very, very slim. So let's go and whack all of these in, even if we have to put the Prems in as well. I'm hoping not to, but I can imagine we will do. We've got so many Prems, it's unreal. So we don't have to put all three in. That's absolutely fine. Uh, left mid, go there. Oh, no, no. Left back, and then we'll go left mid to get the full link. We'll go right back here and swap in for there. Perfect. All done with just buying two gold rares. So from that, you then recycle. If you want to save the packs, go and do your bronzes again. Go do your silvers again. Repeat, repeat, repeat. I would always open up one at every, like, three because, hey, we get a nominee. This is going to be, oh, is that Alfonso? No, it's uh, David, Davis, Davis or David? David, 87, beautiful. Team of the year nominee, 87 back and 82, 82, 81, 79. Not actually the worst one I've seen, but again, Sanchez and Vertonghen definitely can go back in that SBC. We then have a lovely 87 fodder player and we can just completely recycle that again and just keep going round. That is going to be the best sort of way that you can do it. If you, like I say, if you've got nothing, bronze packs to the bronze upgrade to the silver to the gold you can go one step further if you wanted to do obviously the 82 plus once you've got six rares left go and do an 82 plus you can just go buy the commons for like 450 500 or if you really wanted to go do two of the um free common upgrades get it done for absolutely nothing again keep it all consistent and just grind out because there's not an absolute load of stuff to do on this game right now so the upgrades just seem naturally worth it but that is the way to do it and we oh okay no we do have it i did think we was going to get it so we have got a silver select and also a gold select we'll do that in a minute so let me know down below if you're doing the upgrades we'll go do that silver select we've got the brazil foundations on the channel and we'll have haul it out later for you but on that make sure you like and subscribe and i catch you off the next one Peace.